Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide for configuring Access Store Data Manager on a camera. Please feel free to skip ahead using the links in the video description. This step-by-step -step guide briefly demonstrates how to configure a connection to the Access Store Data Manager and enable reporting on a camera running the analytics. When logging in for the first time to the Data Manager, an introductory tutorial will be available. Please complete this tutorial. If the introductory tutorial had been completed, it can be reactivated from the User and Administration menu, by clicking on, Replay Introduction. Step 1, Set up folders and connection settings. To set up the folders to which the cameras will be connecting to, click on sources located on the header. In this example, only the root folder is available. Click on edit folders. To create a new folder, click on add root folder. Enter the desired information on the fields. This folder will be used to contain the cameras belonging to a specific location. In order for the cameras to upload data to the data manager, the connection settings must be enabled and configured. To do this, put a check mark on the enable connections to this folder box then complete the fields as necessary. The folder connection identifier and folder connection password will be later entered on the connecting cameras. The hours without count data allowed is used to set a time limit before the system sends an email notification. This will be a warning indicating that a camera stopped sending data to the data manager. Although the camera may still be connected to the network, the data upload may be disabled on the camera itself. The hours without communication allowed is used to set a time limit before the system sends an email notification with a warning indicating that a camera has lost network connectivity to the data manager. Both features will send the email to the address provided on the email for warnings field. Upon completion, click on save folder. Step 2. Connect cameras to the data manager. After creating the necessary setup folders and configuring the connection settings from the data manager interface, proceed to connect the cameras to the data manager. Connect to the camera, and browse to the TrueView application settings page. Click on the reporting tab, and enable the reporting feature by putting a check mark on the enabled box. Input the data manager's web interface address that was issued to you. Input the folder connection identifier and password previously created during step 1. Perform a connection test by clicking on run test. Make sure to obtain a green check mark. If the test tool is unable to establish a successful connection to the data manager, individual tests will be displayed to indicate the type of error. Click on submit to save the changes. It may take a few seconds before the changes are complete. This procedure must be performed on all cameras. The cameras should momentarily appear on the data manager's interface. Click on browse sources, and refresh the page after a few moments. Step 3. Create store sets. After successfully connecting the cameras to the data manager, it is necessary to create a set for each store. This allows to display the statistics correctly in Access Store Reporter, and to be able to categorize, and make drill downs in the charts. To create a store set, browse to the sets page of the data manager. Click on Add Store. Complete the information about the store, such as the name, sales area, location, day start hour, department, and sources. On the sales area, click to add the new detail. The location is used for weather purposes. Upon entering the location, a list will populate so you can select the correct location. Add a department if needed. The store may have more than one department, such as a men's department, and a women's department. Specific cameras can be attached to each department. However, not all stores have a specified department. In such case, 
this feature may remain empty. Make sure to select the correct cameras matching the store. Then, click on Add Store. In order for Access Store Reporter to pull the data from the Access Store Data Manager interface, the Data Fetch feature must be enabled. This is enabled by clicking on the cloud icon next to the store set. When the Data Fetch feature is enabled, the icon should appear green. Once the cameras are connected to the Access Store Data Manager and that the store sets have the Data Fetch feature, if you have ordered Access Store Reporter, the data should be reflected once the connection is made. Step 3. Create Store Sets Thank you for watching this step-by-step -step guide for the Access Store Data Manager.